The lowest number of walleyes in Mille Lacs Lake is prompting regulation changes. New regulations would narrow the size range of walleyes that anglers could keep. Hannah Tran met with DNR officials who explained the importance of protecting the walleye population. Mille Lacs. The happening spot for catching walleye in Minnesota is running low on their premier fish. The average catch in our gillnets um, since 1983 has been about 14 or 15, and this year it was less than five. Net catchers are seeing the lowest numbers in 40 years. The, uh, the gillnet catches that we use to estimate our number are the lowest we've seen um, since, since uh, 1970 or so. From warmer weather to invasive species, there's many factors changing the lake's ecosystem, but Aiken DNR officials have at least one big focus. I think juvenile mortality is one of the, the key components to this. DNR experts say that there's a variety of environmental situations that play into why the walleye population is going down, but mainly they want fishers to protect the young and the small walleye. Trying to be um, small walleye friendly now uh, because we've seen, um, despite we've seen uh, increases in reproduction, we've seen poorer survival of the small fish. Lately, the lake hasn't been completely walleye friendly. Protective regulations in smallmouth bass and northern pike, who prey on young walleye, may have had a role. The pike have increased, and so we're, we're looking at uh, uh, relaxing the regulations to some extent while still maintaining quality fish. Coming up with new regulations will be a challenge. Changes must accommodate both the health of the lake and the economic benefit of the community. Hannah Tran, Lakeland News. Officials are considering three length-based regulation options. The options would allow anglers to keep walleye from 17 to 19 inches, 18 to 20 inches, or 19 to 21 inches. A final decision will be made in early March. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.